With winter at our doorstep, we are all worried about high energy prices, which have been soaring since Russia invaded Ukraine. To bring energy prices down in the EU, member states have to work together. Energy prices are sky high because Russia has stopped delivering natural gas to most of Europe. And replacing it is not easy. Before Russia invaded Ukraine, the EU imported around 40% of its gas from Russia. These deliveries are all but gone. That's a decision taken in Moscow, not Brussels. As a consequence, the EU has to look elsewhere for its natural gas imports. The problem is that Europe's import infrastructure is at the limit. The situation is very similar also in the case of liquefied natural gas, or LNG. This is gas arriving from the United States or Qatar. The existing LNG terminals are unevenly distributed. LNG arriving in Spain cannot be delivered to the north of Europe due to a lack of cross-border pipelines. There is therefore simply not enough gas in Europe. The gas shortage is not only increasing the price of gas itself, but also that of electricity. This is because of how the electricity markets work. The price for electricity is determined by the most expensive power plant delivering electricity into the grid, which at the moment is gas. This principle is called the merit order. In the short term, the only way out is to reduce demand for both gas and electricity, leading to fewer gas power plants being used. For lower demand to have a big effect, EU member states need to work together. Otherwise, electricity markets would be distorted. Again, these have to be established within a European framework. If not, we will end up with a patchwork of different prices and different levels of compensation, which, in turn, could make matters worse, since electricity flows cross-border and subsidies could siphon off to neighboring countries. And poorer member states might be at a disadvantage over richer ones. Just as with reducing demand, only a European framework offers a stable solution. But what we really need to make Europe's energy supply secure is a massive investment into renewables and the EU's cross-border energy grid.